Okay, in this video we are now looking at the work that is being done by the applied force or the applied work that is being done. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, now before we get into the applied work done, I just need to look at one more force and one and therefore one more type of work uh, that can apply in a system, and that is this. Uh, get the spelling right here. Dissipative forces. Okay, now you might be going, what? Okay, a dissipative force is a force that dissipate mechanical energy okay and <laughs> you probably still going what okay it dissipates mechanical energy okay now what on earth is dissipate well dissipate kind of just means it steals it reduces mechanical energy so remember what we said before is uh, the principle of conservation of mechanical energy and that was when there's no external force acting on, an, uh, uh, on a system then the mechanical energy is preserved so what if mechanical energy is not being preserved okay then there's either work that's being applied or there's some forces that's stealing some of the mechanical energy and i'm talking about forces like friction okay friction steals some energy and drag air resistance okay drag they are two examples of dissipative forces that steals some of our mechanical energy now energy cannot be created or destroyed just converted from uh, one type of energy to another type of energy and friction can convert something into sound okay that's one type of energy okay waves um, is the transportation of one type of energy okay and heat okay friction can also cause heat and or always causes heat actually um, and that's another type of energy uh, drag um, is also converted into another type of energy okay so um, it steals mechanical energy or actually just converts mechanical energy into something that is not mechanical energy um, like heat energy okay so let's continue with applied work okay work that is being applied but before we get to that let's just summarize what we know so far so far so summarize okay. so far we learned that the work energy principle was that the network done okay when there's a system where there's work being done in that system the extra work that's being done the network done goes into changing the kinetic energy of the object that is um, being worked on <laughs> okay the second thing this is the first thing the second thing we learned that gravity also does work okay gravity is a force and if the object is moving um, unless it's moving horizontal if it's moving up or down or at any angle with the horizontal then work is being done okay, by the gravitational force and it's equal to negative the change in potential energy if it is moving upwards okay if it's moving upwards and that makes sense okay that the value must be if we're moving upwards we're moving in the opposite now i don't just mean directly upwards any direction upwards then we're moving in the opposite direction uh, that gravity is working in, uh, gravity is working down. Okay, that's why it takes a negative. Okay, what else did we learn? We learned that uh, just now that the f that work can be done by friction. Now, one thing that we know about friction is that um, it is in the opposite direction of motion. Okay, so friction is going to be frictional force times change in displacement times cause of the angle but the angle between friction is um, directly opposite the um, or the direction of friction is directly opposite the displacement so that angle will be 180 degrees uh, cause of 180 degrees is negative one so this becomes negative f delta x okay 
Okay, so what we have next is that um, if we put all of this together in a little sketch, that will help. So here we have an object on an incline. It's a very good way of, um, of looking at all the work being done. And let's say there's an applied force. So here is a force. It doesn't matter what that force, let's call it T, um, in what direction it is, but it's just against gravity. So it is pulling something up the slope. Okay, then we have the gravitational force, which we know we call weight. Okay, um, and then we have, um, what else do we have? We have friction. Okay, we know friction is in the opposite direction of motion, so friction is downhill. Okay, that's friction. And then we have the normal force, but the normal force is parallel, sorry, not parallel, perpendicular to motion. It is moving up the slope, normal force is perpendicular so it does not have it's not doing any work okay um, so what is the total work being done in this system so if I were to take work the total work being done it is the work that is being done by the applied force so let's call it work applied plus it's the work applied by the gravitational force weight so work done by gravity then there's work that is being done by the frictional force okay and then there's the work being done by the normal force okay now let's go and simplify this formula a little bit first of all the total work being done is the same as saying the network okay the network being done and some of these things are going to cancel with one another. Some is going to be zero. So this is the network done is what happens in the end. Okay, now the applied work is just the work that's being applied. However, that's T, T delta X cos theta. Okay, whatever that simplifies to, I'm going to keep it as the work applied. Okay, then we saw that the work done by gravity, first of all, is negative. The change in potential energy, that is if it is moving up the slope. Okay, so it's opposite di the direction of the applied force. Okay, that's why it's negative. And then we saw that the work done by the frictional force, that's what we did a little bit earlier. Okay, we got the work done by the frictional force is negative F delta X. Okay, and then the work being done by the normal force, well, normal um, force is just perpendicular to the motion so um, it's not doing any work so that's just plus zero and all I want to do now is uh, show you oh do you remember the work energy principle tells us that the network done is equal to the change in kinetic energy okay all the extra work goes into changing the, um, the velocity of an object okay and if I take then all of these to the right hand side so I add this on both sides to get it rid of it on the right hand side I want work applied alone then I get plus the change in potential energy plus the work done by the frictional force is equal to the work applied and here what I want you to notice is a very important principle that the work that is being applied when I do work on an object okay my work goes into first of all it goes into changing the okay in overcoming friction okay if I want something to move I must first overcome the friction that stops it from moving okay secondly do some of the work that I'm doing now goes into overcoming gravity if I'm pulling it up a slope, if I need to pull it up a slope, I need to overcome gravity. Okay. Uh, this one was overcome friction. Okay. And whatever work is left, if I've overcome gravity, uh, friction and I've overcome gravity and I'm, I'm doing enough work to overcome both of those and there's a little bit work left, this will change or let's say accelerate then I'll have enough done to cause an acceleration I'll accelerate the object and uh, I think a picture is going to help 
Okay, so um, always a picture of an object on an incline. Okay, so there's my object on an incline. Okay, a little cart that I am pushing with all of my might to try and get it up this slope. Okay. Okay, so what is happening? I am applying some work. Okay, but there is the weight that is parallel to the surface. Okay, that is down the surface. So I'm trying to overcome weight as well as overcome this frictional force that is being caused by the surface I'm traveling on. Okay, and if I'm able to overcome this and this and that there's a net force. Okay if there's a net force that is still up the incline it means net force is equal to mass times acceleration mass is constant so if net force um, is larger than zero then acceleration is larger than zero which means I'm accelerating up the slope which means my velocity is changing which means if my velocity is changing my potential energy is changing so uh, what do we see well I want to bring you back to a formula we had a little bit earlier okay this one okay where we have that this is the change in kinetic energy okay the change in kinetic energy is equal to okay let me put it here the change in kinetic energy is equal to the work applied minus the change in potential energy okay minus but I'm going to put this in brackets so it's plus the frictional the work done by the frictional force okay I hope you can see that I'll move up a bit okay the work done by the frictional force so this is what I want you to see okay that if I have that my work applied is more than the sum of the, the change in potential energy in other words um, changing its height okay, overcoming friction uh, sorry gravity and so I sum the, the energy that I need to overcome gravity and the energy I need to overcome friction. If I add these two up and I see that the work that I'm applying is more than these two, then I will have a bigger number, uh, let's call this a bigger number minus a smaller number, and then we know we get a positive answer. Okay. In other words, the change in kinetic energy will be positive in other words it will be accelerating uh, accelerating it will be increasing in velocity okay if however I find that my work that I'm applying is less than what I need to change the potential energy as well as overcoming friction then to be changing the potential energy and to be changing uh, uh, overcome friction I need energy elsewhere in other words some of the kinetic energy is going to be used okay the kinetic energy is going to dissipate okay and therefore the change in the kinetic energy is going to be less than zero okay because now I have a smaller number work applied is smaller than the work dissipated and therefore I will have a negative number and that is when my change in kinetic energy is negative it means it is decreasing so I'm decel I don't know how to spell decelerate decelerate okay it's probably spelled wrong but I'm sure you are smart enough to figure out what I'm trying to say cool uh, and that's it that is a this is a beautiful formula I hope you remember it that the work applied is being used to first of all overcome gravity in other words change potential energy then um, or actually no the work that the work applied first of all goes into changing in overcoming friction the work needed to do friction then it goes into changing the potential energy in other words overcoming gravity and whatever is left over gets used to change kinetic energy and if there's not enough change kinetic energy is 